First, add a cylinder and set the vertices to 12 for a low poly but smooth shape. Rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis and scale it down along the y-axis to get the base shape. Switch to edit mode and use face selection to select the front and back faces of the cylinder. Under the item menu, set the mean crease to 1 to sharpen the edges. Next, we'll extrude the propeller blades. Select the faces where the blades should be. Then change the transform pivot point to individual origins. Press I to insert faces, then scale them down along the Y axis to fit the propeller shape. Use E to extrude and S to scale multiple times until the blades have a well-defined structure. To give the propeller tips a natural twist, keep them selected and change the transform orientation to normal. Enable proportional editing, then press or Z to slightly rotate them along the Z axis, creating a more aerodynamic look. let's create a center hole. Select the front and back faces of the cylinder, press I to insert faces, then right-click and choose bridge faces to create the hole in the middle. To smooth out the model, press Ctrl-3 to add a subdivision surface modifier or add it manually in the Modifiers tab. Right-click and choose Shade Auto Smooth for a polished finish. Go back to Edit Mode, Select the edges of the original cylinder, and apply a slight bevel. Reduce the mean crease to 0.5 to soften the edges. Now, let's animate the propeller rotation. Select the propeller, Press K, Blender 4.2, or I, older versions, and choose Rotation. Move to frame 50, rotate the propeller, and set another rotation keyframe. To create a continuous spin, go to the timeline, press Shift E, and select Make Cyclic, this will loop the animation seamlessly. That's it. Your propeller is now modeled and animated. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.